Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are currently on the Rock Full of Brains, a cluster out in the wilds of the universe here with two asteroids under our control right now. Two asteroids that we are filling up with duplicates that I've been naming after famous scientists. One of those duplicates is Maxwell, named after, of course, James Clark Maxwell. Uh, he's having a bit of a bad time until we actually figure out what this... Um, asteroids agriculture is actually going to be or just food source of any type it might end up being the slicks we are trying to support ourselves on a bristle blossom bristle blossom that is uh, letting out a spore it, it, the game tra treats it like a germ but it's a spore being let out here uh, that uh, unfortunately Maxwell is uh, having an allergic reaction to let's try and follow him here whilst we're walking around allergic reaction and if we have a look inside his bio it's the allergies here now unfortunately I didn't check this he came out of this cryotank 3,000 here, so I didn't really get any say in what his uh, stats were going to be, and I did not realise that this was going to be a problem. We have one of two options. We can either send him over to Reverse Lin and like be, be done with him at that point, but I think actually what we're going to do is try and solve this through medication. In medication, we have the Apothecary, and we can build an Apothecary to make ourselves a few medicines. I think I'm going to just pop it next to... I kind of I kind of hate that, but we're going to do that. We're going to pop it next to the uh, Teleporter for now and I'm gonna try running it up and join it up with all of this another problem that you've got uh, we've got that you may have noticed in the background there why are we running the power off of this manual generator this shouldn't be the case we have a uh, nice little petroleum generator over here well we don't have a, ba a battery hooked up to this power transformer here so if anything goes wrong in the supply chain and the pa power dies that's it the oil well and the pump die and then we can't process all the materials so we, we need to get at least a jumbo battery but maybe a smart battery yes we can do it let's do it here we have curie here of course named after the famous i'm going to call a radio no no radiologist is someone else person who dealt with radiation uh she is our builder in this place ah oh, that the night time why? Uh, but she's going around and do, to do all of these little jobs, but she is the one with the most stress. I say that, frankly, it is also quite stressed. So maybe we can do something to make this place feel a little bit nicer for them. Let's have a look. The morale, I mean, we've got 12 out of 9. What, what's the stress? Popped eardrums. Really? Popped eardrums. How? Is there a pressure readout on here? I, I've, I, I, there may be, maybe a mod for it but I can't find a pressure readout. I need something that lets me know, is, what is it, over over 2,000? Is, this, is it this chlorine? Maybe the chlorine's giving them a bit of a trouble. I'll have to search around and try and find which gas is over pressuring them because that's that's quite a big problem. Look, we've got a, we've got a 2,000, 3,000 here. Maybe we could dig sideways to let that pressure out, but really we should be trying to collect the natural gas. I think it's coming not just off the oil well, though that will be a problem, uh, from the refinery as well. I, re I remember something leaking natural gas that I wasn't expecting. Look, it's, it's right here. So we'll have to think of some sort of passive system for that, some way of picking up gases and sorting them out. That That's going to be pretty horrific to try and work out, but we, we can do it. And I know it's a bit of an aside, but I'd really like to get this hydrogen generator onto the main spline. So we'll do that as well. We've had to throw some uh, support structures in here to get the last few wires put in place, but the apoth apothecary is built. Somewhere in here, we can get some allergy medicine. What do we need? Blossom seed and dirt. Beautiful. We, we can do those. Let, let's do those. Not all day, but let's make 10. Of course, as with almost all buildings, it needs to have a doctor on hand. Or, well, not a doctor, but someone with the skills. And I think Maxwell, he's got a lot of morale. He's got very little need. I think we can get medicine compounding for himself. Is there, like, a, a, a good bonus associated with this? It doesn't, it doesn't really tell us. Plus two medicine. Hmm, I, I don't know. I think we're going to stick with what we've got for now. I said we had the blossom seeds as if... Oh, it's, it's in here that's got the overpressure. As if uh, we had many, many... It turns out we only had one. That That's a bit of a shame. Okay, I think we need to open these doors if there is a pressure problem building up. Okay, before we go nuts with the medicine, let's see if we can't get this battery in place. Oh, we're still waiting for a few deliveries. I'm sure they'll be along 
any moment. At the same time, this has kind of started taking shape, this little spline extension over here. Uh, I didn't didn't really expect them to be working on that so fast, to be honest with you. I was expecting this to happen first because I put it down first. But of course, proximity is a factor when a duplicate tries to decide what they're going to do next. So of course, I just kind of bumped the priority up. It turns out pushing it up only by one uh, overrides any prior uh, any proximity priorities that might be in the uh, factoring there let's just kind of speed this up a little a bit i'd like to see if uh, we're ever going to build any any charge in it i'm not i'm not sure to be fair until something actually happens we'll just have to, to hold on uh would some something will provide power to the spline at some point we really should have put this up on the spline though one one little hamster wheel isn't going to keep the whole thing turning. It's the same as this generator, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the spline extension is in place. For this to work, we're going to need to have, get a uh, transformer in there somewhere. Down in the power, we can get a singular transformer going. We're only going to be making 800 watts from here, the maximum, but we need to get rid of the ladder. That That is a, a must that there. Because, of course, the power from the hydrogen generator will be going into the spline, but this smart battery here will not be receiving any power from anywhere at that point. So that, that is something that we really need to keep on top of. Well, I suppose... Oh, no, this is this is a different circuit now. I was going to say, I suppose the manual generator to keep it turning over, but it wouldn't. Okay, that's the transformer connected. The next thing we need to do is separate the generator away, and then at some point, hopefully rather soon, we need to upgrade the little bit of wire that's on there up to a uh, high volt wire. But this should just turn over fine. We're going to drain that battery pretty hard, and we're going to be reliant on how much hydrogen we've got stored up in here to see us through through is this enough to get things turning over though that's that's the real question something so, something just happened we've got some got some liquids flowing we've got the pump is on that's great we've got things being sorted we need to come up with a uh, a, a zero power version of this at some point there there are methods but they're quite awkward so i think i'd rather pay the power cost for the moment we're getting water turned over in uh, polluted water sorry turned over into uh, normal water going into the oil well sometimes the petroleum generator comes on produces some polluted water that's that's nice cycle there it's great okay first bit of closure we have a fully charged battery there okay but even though this can't quite keep up and keep the the main splash with power there is enough to keep the core of the uh, of the buildings here turning over we're entirely entirely dependent on this handle getting cranked here and petroleum being ch churned out and that that might not be the best way to live but it's, it's the one we've got so far okay next thing i'd like to do is really get this uh, medication done so let's go to the priorities let's find maxwell doctoring let's pump that up i presume this is doctoring and not like operation or something like that oh yeah he's making it now okay so we need franklin to turning on the uh, hamster wheel up there to be able to let maxwell go and do his work he's still got popped eardrums that's not great the doors have been opened though so that that's pretty good we're see it seeming to uh even out uh what two two thousand grams that that's pretty good i can deal with that quick look at the gases we've got ourselves a little bubble of something going on there that's not particularly tasty let's have a look on the actual gas overlay uh it's all carbon dioxide of course it We've got a bunch of carbon dioxide down here that needs dealing with all this chlorine. Oh, the, the, the gas mixture here is horrendous. After just a little bit of waiting time, we've got uh, some allergy medicine coming out here. I need to go to the consumables, I think. Let's have a look somewhere in here. Al allergy medicine. Yeah, it looks like Maxwell's fine to pick them up. Why isn't he? Because he's not currently suffering. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> oh, there's no floral scent okay they're not they're not blooming that that makes sense that makes sense okay so we've just had a flower bloom and someone came along and harvested it shall we be a good overseer maxwell come come, come here buddy come here I, I need you to see something just inspect this blossom make sure it's up to code for me okay so he has immediately gone and got himself a bit of an allergic reaction I mean, oh, who who would have known that that would have happened there? That's that's oh, it's totally taken me by surprise. Uh, that's quite the animation for eating eating the allergy medicine. Is it is it that bad? Oh, oh and he's done. 
Okay, there we go. That's that's cool, and we earn an achievement from this. Okay, uh, I, I want to have a look at Maxwell just quickly, though, if we can. Antihistamines. Okay, 1.2 cycles. That's pretty good. Let's have a look at the achievement. In it comes. I don't even know which one it's going to be. They got better. Cure, <laughs> cure a sick duplicate of disease. Okay, that's great. All right, brilliant. We are a, a more, ca more capable space colony each and every day. Okay, I quickly had to rearrange the wiring up here. We kept on draining all the power out of the smart battery. So now the hydrogen generator feeds into this smart battery, which is hooked up to this power transformer via the wonders of automation so that when the battery gets to, uh, too full, the transformer turns on and dumps its excess power into the grid. Beautiful. Okay, enough tangents. We, we, need, we need to get on with something that's an actual project. And over here, I need to move this water so we can get access to this natural gas geyser. It's dormant right now, so that's pretty good time to get in there and drain out all the gases and make this a pristine environment. I want to build a whole natural gas power station over this side where we're going to pull out all the gas and dump it into some generators. And I can't do that with all this water here. So I'm going to move it into this tank, which could probably do with a bit of a skim out, but... Uh, yeah, this, this, this looks like it's going to go well. Uh, we need Curie to come down and do her thing. Another thing, just quickly, uh, this isn't going to be a proper tangent. This might even be a future episode. I'm looking at this. I, d I don't like it. I feel like we could fit a couple of Slickster ranches down underneath and then have a bank of petroleum generators and uh, feed this oil well off of the water coming out of here. I, I th This is something that needs to happen. And, of course, move the oil refinery and stuff. Maybe into, like, an industrial brick that that, that would be pretty cool. An industrial brick with Slicksters eating the carbon dioxide. Maybe we even want two ranches next to each other. Hmm. Thoughts. But how are we doing down here? Okay, this is this is going pretty well. We've got all the tiles dug out of the way. But the thing I'm thinking about right now, how do we power it? The, the, the spline's all the way up there. We are all the way down here. Yeah, th th these could be problems. After much consultation and protest from the locals, we're actually going to go ahead and pop down a transformer here, grab a whole load of conductive power wire, I'm going to take the lead, thank you, and just kind of run it down here. Thankfully, the power line doesn't actually take any decor bone, uh, negative, sorry, it comes in at a net zero, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, and this should then be able to power this pump. That's quite a long way. We, we probably could have done that better, but we'd, we'd need to move the spline around. I mean, we've got, it, we've got this magma to do with we might actually get around to doing that at some point soon we've got a cooling system we've got some magma i think these two should meet at some point let me take you on a bit of a logical journey here we need to free up franklin from the horrors of the hamster wheel to do that we need to get the oil refinery burning over to do that we need to get this particular oil refinery turning over it doesn't have any crude oil in it so even if we got franklin off of there and just concentrating on this she wouldn't actually have any jobs to do because we don't have any oil down here which don't which comes from the oil well the oil well is not working because it has got an empty pipe it, looking in there yeah actually the only water we've got is going around and going into the carbon skimmer so we need to get a new pipe network put into place coming from this water steam event over here cool steam vent in the back uh it's cooled down just a little bit not too much and then we go and plug it straight into the oil well it should make us some um some crude oil we pick that up we put it in the oil refinery and then we tell franklin to stop running and go and make some petroleum so we can turn the petroleum generator over and get this whole system kick-started because we haven't got any power to turn the pump on Thankfully, Maxwell has come along and put in all the materials for these pipes just so Curie can wake up and just go along and do all of this. This is amazing. This is, oh, this is the best. If you can, have someone dedicated to just going around and putting the materials in for your builders. Ah, oh, it's so good. So another one of the problems we've got right now is there's not enough power flowing through the network. And coming over to have a look at our little um, oxygen, self-powered oxygen machine here, you can see that quite a lot of the time the hydrogen turns off. Even though we've got a green signal going to these oxygen pumps, it's just not going anywhere because we have reached maximum oxygenation status in the base. Uh, I feel like this is a good reason to uh, just kind of dig up and go out to the vacuum of space. We've got ourselves a weird sort of hydrogen-oxygen separation system here where this slope takes all the hydrogen up into this area for the, the, the Drecos. That, that's great. I'm all about that. Maybe we'll st uh, set a little Draco ranch going up here. We could do with some of their wool. 
but that means we've got nothing but oxygen coming over this way so if we just dig up and across the reason i've done this little kick here is because uh the, the sky it does shower you with radiation and I, I don't want it coming all the way through i mean look like look at this oh that's that's it's worse than i thought it'd be there's that igneous rock very good at blocking the uh, radiation sedimentary rock not so much uranium might as well not be there oh the power kicked up for a little bit what how did that happen? That was enough to move some uh, some liquids up. Not not into the oil refinery, unfortunately. That's, that's kind of where we need it. If I wanted more fine control over this process, I would probably actually run one of these gas lines up and then have an atmospheric sensor. And then when the sensor had over a certain amount, it would just vent out to space. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to poke a hole out the top and see how it goes. I mean, if all else fails, we'll, we'll put a door in, right? Okay, and there we go. We've, we've got some oxygen just kind of venting out into the wilds of space. Oh, look at that algae there. That's not, I thought it was uranium for a moment, but no, uranium's this kind of dirty yellow. Is it making sufficient changes to the system? I don't know. The pumps have come on a few times, which is a, a bit more often than it was when I was last looking, but uh, it's still not great, is it? This is a weird one. I was like, all right, why isn't the pump working? We've even got the thermal aqua tuner up and running full time. Why is the pump not working? So there's no power in the line. Come up to the power transformer. No power wire connected. I strongly disagree. There's a heavy watt wire there and there's a, a conductive wire there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. I'll try putting both of them down again, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe if we replace the mesh tile, but even then, I, I just don't know. I mean, the integrity of the line seems pretty good. There doesn't seem to be any breaks anywhere in it. No, I, I just, I don't know. Let's try... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's automation signal in the background. Okay, that, that's, that's fine. I, I now, I now understand. <laughs> okay, there we go. Fine, great. That, that's, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's not embarrassing at all. Alright, the pump is up and running. We're probably going to need to skim a little bit more off of this. But I think one thing I would like to do whilst I'm here is build these two tiles. Pull the, this one and this one down. Build a tile, rip down the things. Build a tile, rip down the tiles. What One read about the sand, obviously. And then I can build myself a, uh, a liquid plump pump down here. Should have done it when I built the rest. I, I don't know why I didn't, to be honest. Oh, Kiri, why, why would you do it from the top like that? She just went into the side. Ah, oh, the sand must have been taken out. Ah, oh, that, that's a thing we just saw. <laughs> okay, let's let's do this from, from the other side then. No, no problem, no problem. Adapt, improvise, overcome, right? Okay, the pump's in place, but it's really looking like we didn't need to go through all of this. We could have just built it from on top, but hey, th th that's what the oxygen not included is about, right? Uh, taking the... the, the Overly complex and slightly awkward way of doing things. Yes, totally. Poor Franklin's leading quite the life at the moment. She keeps having to come on in here to release the pressure on the oil well. Unfortunately, she's getting quite scolded occasionally from the hot, uh, hot night, no, hot natural gas that comes out of here. I've had to build her a triage cot and let let's send her over so she can get, get a little bit well. Panic, confusion, despair. Where have my slicks gone? I don't. I don't understand. Well, I, I think I understand. If I, um, uh, if I'm to go out on a limb and think about what happened here, uh, you can't drown slicks uh, because they they excrete a whole bunch of liquids. The game devs took the decision a little while ago that they can't drown in their own liquids, but you can, however keep them away from carbon dioxide because of it because there's polluted water here and there's oil on the bottom i think i starved my slicks i think i think they may have starved to death so what i've gone ahead and done is pump some water into this carbon skimmer here unfortunately it's saying block. why why are you saying block what is wrong with you this wire this handle needs to be turned is someone someone on it someone someone's very much on it okay cool well the next thing i want to do is of course come through and scoop out this uh this water tank just a little bit more because we nearly got rid of all the water very very nearly got rid of all the water i reckon within the next couple of maybe within the cycle in fact we will be there and uh, and have achieved all that we wanted to achieve talking of achieving what we want to achieve i need to get this uh, do i i don't have a, a field researcher we're gonna send someone over specifically to do the research we we could very well do it's still dormant so i think maybe we're gonna make that a priority 
Priority seven all the way along. I think I think we can keep the natural gas guys uh, under wraps if we just kick, uh, just empty it out. That that shouldn't be a problem at all. Oh, here comes Curie right now to do the job. Okay, that's good. I'm not particularly interested in whether the manual airlock gets built or whether it just uh, ends up being dug through. But the, the duplicates are going to want to build it. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. How's the handle cranking going? Um, bad. <laughs> It, it is turning over though. It is turning over. Okay, so we, we need we need another way of dealing with that. Or rather, I think we need a bigger reservoir for our sorted oil. Yes. I've said it before this episode, and I'll say it again. Definitely having a look at how long we've got left on the episode. Uh, yeah, this is going to have to wait for another, another episode. Okay, I'm not even mildly sure it's a good idea, but let's go over to Reverse Lynn. This is our original asteroid. It's been ticking over quite nicely for some time. I'm going to go for the teleport transmitter, and we're going to get Plank to go over. Uh, literally just a very quick trip. It might be packing an overnight bag, looking at how far we are through the cycle, uh, but we will be able to send him over. He'll be able to look at the geyser. Hopefully this teleport needs to be pre have a button pressed. I always forget about that, literally always, uh, and we will teleport over uh get mailed in fact i think the, uh, the 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 icon is trying to tell us there here comes plank or at least a good enough copy of him that we think it's plank okay plank has decided he needs to put some dirt away before he does anything else wow all the way down wow all right plank if you say so Okay, after the small detour there, Plank is actually on his way to go stand by the geyser and wiggle his bum around and show us what it's all about. Okay, brilliant. We've just got to kind of leave him here for a little bit. I, I almost I almost want to hit it on to top priority to just keep him going overnight, but I'm not sure. I think that might be a little much. Do other people still get to go about their life? Let's... Let's just see what happens if we leave that running. I, I'm going to put up with the, with the alarm. You guys don't have to. I mean, he's got 3,000 calories. What's his bladder at? Oh, no. We, we should let him go. We should let him go. Uh, go, go. Go take care of what you need to take care of, Plank. <laughs> Well, whilst I was laying down some plans, in comes the duplicants to come along and do the job anyway. So I guess I'll take the moment to explain to you what's going on here. We're going to pump out all the gas from this natural gas geyser. We're going to dump it into the natural gas generator. But the natural gas generator has a, a few side effects. Uh, this one here is what I'm looking for. So it takes in natural gas uh, and we need to make sure we have a gas intake and a, an outtake. Obviously for the, the gas and the carbon dioxide that is produced. It also spits some polluted water out. It sounds rather familiar to the other generators, no? Uh, and so we need to uh, put down a pump down the bottom. And then ideally, ideally, as it vented the gas out into a pipe, we would wh whip off all that gas to feed to the, our slick ranches over here. But we don't have them right now. So we're going to put down a couple of, let's find it in the oxygen section here, carbon skimmers, maybe either side of the pump. I think that would work out quite well, actually. Now, the tough bit, the real difficult bit, is we've got this heavy watt wire that we don't want crossing the main pathways of access. We need to try and bring the spline round the back here. Is that is that how I want to do it? Not how I want to do it, but it's probably how I'm going to end up doing it. Can I replace that tile with a, a join plate? Yeah, we, we could run this up and through here. We, we only get occasional interaction with dupes down this way. I mean, it would be better to come out here, but we'd have all sorts of heat leakage issues. So we'll, we'll make do with a single pass in here. As always, the power wiring is probably going to end up being like the, the biggest problem here. The biggest project. I mean, whilst we're at it, it would be really nice to take the generator off of this uh, this circuit here and put it onto the spline. Because it does, it makes power. It, it deserves to be on that. Can we jump this through through the water? I, th I think we can get away with this. Should we should we try this? Just make them the priority. Plank done yet? Oh, he's nearly there. End of cycle. We can't quite send him home yet, uh, but we'll, we'll we'll get there. Kind of nervous. I feel like there's no way of actually getting through this tile without dropping a lot of water. So I'm going to put some safety tiles in place, and I've asked for the next priority to be this one here. Uh, th that scolding is still an issue. Bleachstone. I don't want Bleachstone. The heavy watt join plate is still saying unreachable. Ah, that is actual shame. Ah, oh wait. 
it is actually unreachable. We, we, we made some changes and we didn't allow for them. So let's uh, instead put this across here. Dig ourselves a little tunnel. Yeah. Okay, these guys are making very quick work of this. Plank very nearly, very nearly got the full analysis underway. I mean, look, it's so, so close to being done. So close to being done. There's no way of actually seeing what percentage we're at. I've got a feeling it'll just be like 99.9 .9 at the moment, just staying there. But yeah, unfortunately, not seen any way of doing so. Okay, we should now have um, next activity, five cycles. We got, we got five cycles to finish this. Okay, all right, we, we, we can do that. Sure. Okay, so yeah, some water is going to be spilt. There is, there is no way around this. Let's take this one out of the, on the side here uh, and we'll see what is the damage after that. It's probably the way to see how we can do this. Are these guys going to come out of here? This water's pretty hot. We should probably do with trying to cool it down at some point. I should imagine it's spending, yeah, a lot of heat around the base. Uh, we are, of course, cooling everything down around here as well. Ooh. Here we go the water is loose it's quite a lot but not as much as i was fearing the problem is it's going to be hot for almost everything so let's actually uh at the highest priority mop this up and i think like that we've managed to stick a heavy watt wire through the side of my water tank that was a little bit more effort than i was expecting but it actually went quite well so Plank's done his job, and as great as it is to have him here, he's a little bit of a drain on the uh, the resources on this new and fledgling base. I mean, I say new and fledgling. It's been going for quite some time now, but with, I, I still feel like it's having a little bit of trouble being self-sustainable. So uh, let, let's send Plank back home. And uh, speaking of being uh, having trouble being self-sustainable, I'm also going to send some food across. So once... I press the button and Plank gets to teleport away. Uh, we will like look at that. That's, that's horrific. Like made a copy, destroyed it, sent emailed across, printed out. I'm surprised there's not some sort of shredding animation at the end there. I feel like that would be a thing that needs to be shown. The lice loaf. We're, we're just going to send all the lice loaf that we have on the rock over there. Uh, not all of it. I mean, I think I think nine nine kilos should be enough. Nearly four cycles before the natural gas geyser comes out of its dormancy, we've managed to make a sealed chamber. We're going to start trying to pump the gas out as soon as the spline gets completely finished off here. We should be able to get this power transformer up and running and get the gas power running so we can get rid of all the carbon dioxide and chlorine in here. Uh, and then we just need to build the rest of this. Little bits and bobs have been done, but I've been trying to focus on the, uh, on the power spline back here. So it has been waiting for it. Oh, it's taken so long that the natural gas geyser has started venting. This is okay. We can live with this. It's, it's all going to get contained in here. Hopefully, it's not going to explode before we can turn the gas filter onto natural gas. I mean, technically, we could do that now. Turns out we've not powered it. Is there any reason not to just run that up? 120 is a low, low um, power drain. So that puts us at about 800 across the whole network. I think that should be fine. Yeah, as soon as this sieve gets built, I think we are ready to roll here. Let's get this uh, filter connected. It is the one bottle net. Oh, that's not how we connect that. Give me the uh, the wire if you could. Thank you very much. And we'll connect those together. This should then fire up some carbon dioxide. That, that wasn't quite what we wanted. Why? What's gone wrong here? The power spline is dead. Oh, I know why. So Franklin was having a very bad time. You can see by the amount of stress that is on the go up there. So I turned down her operating um, priorities. So now that we've turned it back up, hopefully we can get some some uh, get some petrol flowing again because that's what we are waiting for to get the uh, petroleum generator turning over. But she went for a nap. Okay, I I, I'll be honest with you. I have been pushing them pretty hard for the past couple of cycles. So I understand that. I understand that completely. Okay, so with the petrol going in, I wonder how much lag there will be in the system. Because obviously there's a lot of things that need to be powered back up. I, I don't know which ones are going to get powered first. What is the orders here? Thankfully, it seems to be the uh, the oxygen. So that's pretty good. Okay, right, so now we seem to have, have some, some stuff going. We've got some um, natural gas being fed into natural gas generators. These are spewing out little bits of water down below, which get picked up and shipped into the water sieve over here, get, which also then gets picked up and shipped down. You know what? I might even 
cut this line that was coming from this big water pipe, uh, water tank up there. I don't, I don't think we need it. Let's just cut that there, uh, and we may even start filling up here. Once we do overflow, we dump into this water, so it's no problem. It's no problem at all. But we, we, we've run out of power for the gas filter. This is not good. We need to put some batteries down. That's something that I severely overlooked. Count, do you reckon we can fit one there and not connect it to the big power line? I think that might be a way forwards here. Let's get a smart battery because they're pretty efficient. And we'll, we'll connect it like that. That, that should help. So we've also got a whole bunch of waste gases coming out of here and they're starting to back up the system. Uh, this, oh, 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 I see a problem that I've done here. Okay, um, the waste gases need to go out in a pipe and they get shipped up and out to space. So that that's no problem. We will deal with the different waste gases in more uh, sustainable manners as time goes on. But for now, we'll throw that out. Uh, I thought I was being clever down here and I had a little gas sensor saying, hey, if it's not carbon dioxide, can you just pump out the carbon dioxide, uh, the, the not carbon dioxide? Uh, it turns out... We flood with water down here quite often. I, I, I knew this. I knew this was going to be the case. Uh, I, I don't know why I left it the way I did. Uh, so let's let's move that maybe up here. That might be a better place for it. And then we could seal everything off. Okay, final element is going into place. Beautiful. Let's have a look down here. The gas does start to flow. Uh, we're going to be pumping out a lot of chlorine. Okay, that that's fine. But more importantly, what's going on over here? Pipe block. Why doesn't this get priority? Hmm. Because I've messed up my pipage. Let's try like this instead. It's going to go a little weird until this gas pipe, uh, this gas bridge gets destroyed, but that's okay. Uh, and now we've got this all being taken care of. The only thing we need to do is vent the carbon dioxide. It, it seems that I neglected to do that. That's, that's a shame. Okay, if this now gets run for long enough, poor Franklin, poor, poor Franklin, uh, this should actually clear out a lot of the waste gases that we've got kicking about they're, they're going to be spewing out of the top here and just being utterly destroyed let's see what we've got being thrown up here things like chlorine uh, carbon dioxide uh they, at the moment the, the destruction is probably the best option that we've got available to us in the future i think we'll still be venting the chlorine but the other gases we're probably going to be feeding the carbon dioxide into some slicksters we of course will be feeding the natural gas back into itself but I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we are going to be working on that Slickster Ranch and making sure that Franklin can go in and out of that area without getting absolutely toasted. Um, maybe we'll sort out some way of farming the Drex, but I will see you then or when we're going to do that. Bye.